What we're going to be looking at here is an example of a non-monetary exchange of some property, plant, and equipment or long-term assets. And our example is going to be where a company trades in an old machine for a new machine and there's going to be some cash involved in this exchange. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go and we have to determine what our rules are here on this exchange of our non-monetary assets. And I have them set up here. And um, the first thing we do, we'd have to determine if you can compute any total gain or loss and that's based on the asset given up and that would be the fair value of the asset less its book value and we determine any gain or loss here. So we're going to skip down here and we're going to be looking at a gain here and there's two situations we're going to be looking at here. Uh, we're going to be uh, first we're going to look at the situation here where we have commercial substance here in this uh, transaction and that's where you're going to re recognize the entire gain here and then we're going to be looking at the other case here where we have no commercial substance in this transaction and that's where we're going to be over there we're going to be looking here where some cash is given here but there's no gain recognized here and what we mean by commercial substance this has some effect here on our future cash flows so let's go and look at our example here now this is where corporation a purchased a new machine by trading in its old machine and paying the balance in cash and the following relates to this purchase here so uh, what we have given here for this example here is we have cash payments due this is that they're going to have to pay on this on this exchange here by exchanging the old machine here for the new machine so they're going to have to make an extra cash payment here and we're not going to go through all the numbers here we're just going to look at try to concentrate on the uh, description here and our calculation so there's a cash payment due here and then we have the cost of the old machine that's the what the old machine originally cost here and then we have the accumulated depreciation of the old machine we would subtract that here from its cost and then this would be our book value here of the old machine so we know what our book value is here and then there's one other thing we have to know for this um, problem here and that's the market value of the old machine here or that's its fair value here this is this was established or given to us here that that would be the fair value of the old machine ninety eight thousand dollars here and then the book value here is eighty four thousand dollars so you can see our market value here is greater than what our carrying value or book value is so let's look at the first case here where the exchange has commercial substance. So what we have to do in this case is we have to determine the cost here to new machine and the gain on this disposal here. So just follow along with the descriptions here and you can add up the numbers here as you want. Now the, what for the cost in a new machine that would be based on a fair value of the old machine. Remember we had that fair value that we had to determine here that was given to us plus the cash that was paid on the exchange. So there was a cash amount paid on the exchange um, that was the additional cash required here to purchase that exchange or buy that new machine here and we had to give them the old machine in turn so um, adding those amounts up fair value plus the cash paid gives us the cost of the new machine in this case it's hundred and twenty thousand dollars so next thing we have to do is we have to determine the gain there's going to be a gain on this disposal and we take the fair value of the old machine that's the uh, market value or that fair value that we determined here unless it's book value here of the old machine that we were given here the book value and that the difference between a fair value less the book value and that gives us our gain on our disposal here fourteen thousand dollars so rem remember that was the first step that we had to calculate uh, calculate in our exchange rules here the fair value less the book value gives us any gain or loss and in this case it's a gain okay since the fair value here is greater than the book value now to record this entry here and then remember this is the ex where the exchange has a commercial substance so we would increase our new machine we would debit that or increase it here by in this case hundred and twenty thousand dollars because that was the cost of the new machine here and then we'd remove the accumulated depreciate remove the old machine here off our books here accumulated depreciation here of forty four thousand dollars and we would recognize in this first case here where we exchange has commercial substance we'd recognize the gain here on the disposal here of fourteen thousand dollars that we calculated and then remove the old machine uh, its cost here off the books 128 thousand and then we would 
credit or, or reduce our cash account here uh, by $22,000 for the cash amount that was paid on this exchange. Now let's look at the case here where the exchange lacks commercial substance. So there is no value in this exchange here, no future cash flows on this exchange. So this is where we defer the gain and reduce the basis of the new machine. So this is what you have to look at here. And we, this is uh, first for the basis of our new machine. We can do it one of two ways here. So let's look at it the first way here, where the cost of the uh, new machine, it's fair value. That we determine, we're given here at a hundred and, uh, well, that's what, that is the cost of the new machine here that we calculated. Let's go up and look at that here. Let's go back here and look at when the exchange had commercial substance here, we determined the cost of the new machine here to be $120,000. That was the fair value of the old machine here, plus the cash paid on the exchange here. So moving back down here, so looking at our, our back here our exchange lacks commercial substance. Our basis of our new machine would be the cost of the new machine. I'm just putting down its fair value at this time. It wasn't the market value of the old machine here, but this is the fair value of the new machine, $120,000, less the gain deferred here. And that was, uh, we can go back and look at our gain here. So here was our total gain. Let's go back and look at it here that we calculated here when the when we had uh, the exchange had commercial substance. Total gain here was $14,000. So let's go back down here and look at it. So we would subtract out our that gain here uh, from the cost of the new machine here and it would give us our basis of the new machine here. Okay, or we could look at it in these terms for a basis of the new machine here. The book value of the old machine, that was, we were given that at $84,000 here, plus the cash paid here. $22,000 cash paid gives us a basis of our new machine here of $166,000. So in either case here, we calculate it one of two ways here. And uh, this is where... Um, where we're going to go and we're going to use this here in recording here, uh, making our entries here. So let's get and look at how we'd record our journal entries here. So for our new machine, we're going to use that reduced basis here of our cost, or reduced basis here for the new machine. It And let's go back and look at it. See, the, it was 120000 That's what we calculated before here when we had commercial substance and the exchange had commercial substance. Now what we're doing is we're we're uh, deferring, uh, we're deferring the gain here of fourteen thousand dollars. So our new machine here has a new basis here of one hundred and six thousand dollars here when the when we lack our commercial substance here, and then just remove the accumulated depreciation here of the old machine off our books here, and then again for our old machine we'd remove that off the book, and then just again our cash paid here was. Uh, we would reduce our cash by that amount here. So when, when the exchange here lacks commercial substance here, what we did is we deferred the gain here. There was no gain. We didn't include any gain here. And how we would handle that in the future here. So if there's any gain would be reflected in the basis of the new machine, would be reflected in the basis of the new machine if it's later sold. So we'd be using that new basis here uh, for any gain or loss here and not at the time of the exchange. So when we didn't have any commercial, when our exchange lacked commercial substance here, we didn't include any gain here. And that's how you would handle this problem. And really what I want to look at here is uh, both uh, what we wanted to get out of this here is looking at this exchange here where it lacks commercial substance and how we would have to defer our gain here and reduce our basis on our machine here. And that takes care of that.